Hey guys, Jenny Talks Toys back at ya with another video and my first video of 2019 and my first video in a long time in this channel. So, anyone who's actually been keeping up with the content, thank you so much for the support and apologies for being away for so long. One of my New Year's resolutions for this year is to create more content for YouTube and to just post more regularly. So, anyone who enjoys these, please stick around. I will be hopefully making some more, definitely a lot more this year. So, Without further ado, let's hop right into this set. Today we will building we will be building, excuse me, set 76113 Spider-Man Bike Rescue. So, anyone who knows about this set in more detail, do let me know down below, but I don't know much about this set other than I think it looks really cool and it has Miles Morales in it, and that is a minifigure I'm very much interested in having because I'm absolutely obsessed with Sony's new animated feature Into the Spider-Verse. Really high praise from me for that movie. But let's not babble on too much longer, let's crack this puppy open and start building. So we're starting on bag number one. We have all of uh, Spider-Man's webs off to the side. But we will be starting with Peter Parker. So we have the legs, the body, and the head. Classic Spider-Man. Spider Spider-Man! Very cool. Nice looking minifigure. And this bag is for the bike. So again, I don't know what um, this particular set is in reference to or originating from. I'm assuming maybe uh, a comic book thing, just because I'm not familiar where else Miles Morales makes an appearance, other than Into the Spider-Verse and the comics. So again, anyone who is a Spider-Man fan, do inform me down below. But I just thought it was a cool set, you know? Again, I was excited that there's a Miles Morales on there and um, that there's a motorcycle uh, in this set because I like motorcycles. So there you have it. But yeah. Definitely have a huge backlog of different sets now in my collection of Legos and other build kits and toys. So I'm actually very excited to be doing some more build series things on this channel which is why I actually started this channel in the first place. I do really like toys in general, though, so I do plan on doing some review materials down the line and some more of those blind bag opening videos because those are super fun to do as well. And I know that a lot of people like myself love living vicariously off of the internet, so hence I started doing those as well. But I know that I've been very inactive on this channel and I've just been busy, you know, life. But... Definitely, if I want my YouTube channel to take off a little bit more, I probably will have to be a little more dedicated in posting videos, just because I know consistency is king on this platform. King or queen, you know, either way you choose to look at it. Definitely, consistency is a thing. So, Sloperinos, y'all know the drill. Y'all uh, Lego fans here. Um, anyone who collects Lego down below and is into Spider-Man or whatever, let me know what you guys like to collect. I like hearing feedback from whoever does watch these videos. I know that, uh, this channel's quite tiny at the moment, but viewer participation is encouraged on this channel, so yeah, do comment down below. I like these little pieces, these little vent pieces that Lego does. They are quite cool. Quite cool indeed. And I did not bother to pre-organize my pieces. I know that does speed the build up quite a bit. And I did do that in my last build video. But decided to just wing it. Or should I say swing it? Oh. <laughs> Terrible joke, I know. I know, I know. Oops. We had a bit of a mishap on the build. Uh, just a quick pause happened because of my timer going off. So apologies if there's a weird cutoff at this point. But yeah, what was I saying? I don't remember anymore. Maybe I was saying something along the lines of, these things are fun. Yeah. Also, if there's an issue with the audio in this video, I do apologize. I am trying out my new camera on my new iPhone. So hopefully the build uh, video quality itself will probably be way enhanced, 
but in terms of the audio, uh, I haven't found an adapter for my um, microphone yet. So until I get that, audio might be a small issue, but it remains to be seen when I'm editing, so... One of these pieces on the top here. This is a very hefty motorcycle, by the way. If, you know, if and it is what we are building, so. Yeah. So far, that is my observation of this set. Um, Spider-Man's not really a vehicle guy, you know? That is something to note as a superhero. He's not a Batman type. Or a, you know, Tony Stark type. He has his superpowers. He has swinging power, so it's like, honestly, does he really need a motorcycle, though? So, I mean, it is cool to build this, but it makes sense on a Spider-Man set why you don't see so many vehicle stuff for Spider-Man himself, at least, just because I feel like it doesn't make sense, you know? He's faster web-swinging than doing anything else. Why does he need a motorcycle? But in Into the Spider-Verse, in his little spider cave or whatever that they built for him a la Batman, um, he did have some vehicles, and that was cool, so, hey, there you go, I feel like, mm. okay, that's supposed to pop on there, but I'm having issues, oh, there we go, okay, that makes sense, and this pops on here, this is looking to be a pretty cool looking build so far, I'm not actually sure where it's going, to be honest, but, you know, it is lo uh, it is looking really cool. Some pieces, some slope tiles to finish that little bit out. Oh, here's some fun stuff right here. So, we're going to have some headlight pieces next. And I really like these translucent tea pieces when it comes to Legos. These are my favorite. They're kind of like jewels or something, you know? They always just felt more like expensive or special i don't know uh color scheme is classic spider-man so far a lot of reds and blues nice bright red and blue yep good stuff oh decal time sick all right where is the decal supposed to be ah decal number four okay so i'm gonna have to be careful during this bit and it goes on to this piece. Now it looks like they have it closer to the edge. Oh my gosh, this is going to be hard to do on camera. I can tell you that right now. Because with decals, you always kind of want to do a good job. Nice and straight. And centered. That's looking okay. I feel like it could be better, but... Alright. There you go. And that piece... Goes right along here. Right? Lines up there. Interesting. It looks like it's sticking out a bit more than the diagram shows it. But that could be just the angle of the diagram. Looks more like a snowmobile right now, to be honest, than a motorcycle. So, it's interesting. It'll be interesting to see where this goes. Alright, but it looks like we're kind of narrowing down at the end of bag number one. So that's good. These guys go here. This puppy pops on there. And... Whoop. Ooh, we have a stud shooter, you guys. Very cool. So, I really like these Lego stud shooters. They're very common in the Star Wars sets. But uh, they work very well compared to, like, the OG flick missiles that Lego had. These are considerably cooler, in my opinion. Okay. Hmm. Nope. I, that doesn't seem right. Wait a minute. Did I screw up? Did I screw up? Or are we just missing a piece? Or did I screw up? 
Did I screw up? Oh, I screwed up, didn't I? Um, one moment. Okay, so I made a huge mistake. Um, not even a small one. It was pretty bad. I applied the decal onto the wrong piece. So this is the piece that goes on top of here, but I had applied it onto this piece instead of onto this piece, which is why it looked super funky when I put it on there earlier. And I did think it looked odd. Um, it didn't look right as accordance to the diagram, so... That is kind of problematic because now you have like this piece of the decal that's screwed up from me peeling it. But honestly, the thing is, Lego decals, I don't, they're usually quite good. So I usually wouldn't think that it would cause such an issue peeling the decal. But I don't know. I don't know, man. I ran into some problems just now. So that really stinks. But alas, what can you do? I just got to live with that one. But... That piece plugs into there. And it looks like we're going to be making the same exact piece on the other end, essentially. some Technics. So now we're going to put some Technic pieces on there. And I'm assuming this will be the axle of the vehicle. So we have that. We have a little stutterino. <clears throat> Sliding it all the way through. And this bit slides as well for the wheel. A little red axle piece, and one of these puppies, and the tire goes on here. This is like giving me some OG Lego feels. I haven't seen some of these Technic style like big wheels since I played with Legos as a kid. Yeah, they're not all that common anymore in my opinion to see these guys, so very interesting to see that right now. And that goes on there on this side and this piece goes here and that should just that whole bit in theory should go onto the back interesting okay we're gonna have to adjust this a little bit right and that should slide on to the back. And there's another one. Okay, so I made a mistake with the wheels. As you can see, I've assembled it like this, and that's not clearly how it's supposed to be. So, um, I checked in the manual and looked a little more thoroughly, and I found out that there's kind of an order to this whole thing, which makes a lot of sense. So my faith in LEGO is restored, though it never really went away, because I kind of had a feeling. As soon as things don't fit right, ladies and gentlemen, when you're working with uh, LEGO, you ought to know that they know what they're doing in terms of engineering. So if that's the case, then just look at the manual a little more carefully and you'll find that maybe you've uh, made some sort of mistake, which in this case I did. So as you can see, the initial setup here on the axle is a little bit offset. Now, when you look at this wheel, there's a big hollow bit and then there's a bit that's not as hollow. So obviously... The pieces that are meant to offset it just slide to fit into that hollow bit perfectly so that when you finish out the other side, everything lines up neatly and orderly. And there you have your wheel. So you can see I've attached it on the front and the wheels spin. And now I shall do that to the back as well. So that's side number one. And then we have the bracket for side number two. So now you have two perfectly functioning wheels. And that's what I was meant to have done to begin with. So there you go. Kind of figured that out. And now we kind of angle these out diagonally, which looks very cool, I must say. And this is starting to come together and look really cool. It's interesting. It's kind of like a motorcycle thing, but obviously it's super oversized. So 
it's just really fun. Um, yeah, I'm going to do the next bit here, which looks like it's probably the seat, I'm going to assume. These little pieces here. And I'm really looking forward to some of the new Star Wars stuff that's coming out this year for 2019. I've been seeing some of it on YouTube, so I'm assuming that a lot of these YouTubers have found the sets. And some of them have been released in stores. I'm looking forward to getting the Praetorian Guard Battle Pack, of which I'm probably going to get at least two of them. Maybe three, because I'm weird. I just love the uh, design of the Praetorian Guards. So, if I can take anything away from The Last Jedi, it's definitely that. Though, I am actually a defender of that movie because it got so much, like, hate. Some crazy hate on that movie. Um, which I disagree with. It's a flawed movie, but it's certainly, in my opinion, not worth the amount of, I don't know, just pure hate that it gets. It's just crazy. How much people hate that film. But uh, all fans should and could and will agree that the Praetorian Guards look super cool. So there is that. Mm, now, interestingly enough, this doesn't really snap into place. And I'm wondering why that is. I've probably made another mistake again, but it looks like... I'm following the manuals pretty well, so I'm not sure why that doesn't snap into place. But I'm sure all will be explained when I put it on the bike. For now, let's go ahead and decal this up. And this time, we're making sure to put the decal on the correct brick so that we don't run into that same unfortunate problem. Now, with these sorts of things with Spider-Man, it would be nice if Lego would print these pieces rather than have them be decals, but I'm sure that would drive the price up. I just like the printed pieces a lot better, so that you're not futzing around with this stuff, but, you know, can't have everything. Hey, it fit in now. Is it because I, it's because I put it on the correct side. I'm such a doofus. But believe me, guys, when I'm not doing these for a video, I feel like this builds just go a lot smoother. There's something about building it for video that makes me such a numbskull when it comes to building. But here's the motorcycle all finished, and it looks super cool. So some of these effect pieces are going to be included now. Let's open this puppy up. And we have this really cool looking web piece that goes in, plugs in on the side. All right. Anyway, piece goes here. I had to pause the video really quick because I totally forgot I have my fridge, room fridge, plugged in. And it can be quite noisy at times. So next video, I will have to remember to just turn that puppy off. But anyway, we are just continuing to plug in some effects pieces for the webs here. Not this one. Mm, it looks to be this one. Maybe. Cool. So that's kind of like a spider web that is coming out of coming out of the motorcycle. That's an odd looking thing. I don't know how I feel about that. But, you know, you don't have to put it on there, so I guess there is that. Here's this cute little spider shooter stud thing, and that goes into here. Oh, on this side. And then, of course, you can, you know, stud shooter it. But I'm not going to do that because I don't want to lose pieces here. But there's the motorcycle all finished up. And we're going to put Peter Parker on there. Do, 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 do. Stick him on the bike. Stick him on the bike. Oh, very fun. So that's what that whole bit was for at the end. Is to stick his legs on there, if I can get it to work. Something like that. So, that's cool. That's very impractical, you know, but, you know, it's Spider-Man on a bike. I'm sure I can reposition this to where it doesn't look quite so silly. Ah, there you go. Well, something like that. Um, but we'll reposition this puppy 
and uh, start building the next segment. So there he is, Peter Parker on his bike and the finishing of bag number one. So we're going to start bag number two now. And we will unbag this puppy. Let's go. All right, and we're back. And now this is the most anticipated bit of the entire set for me. We will be building Miles Morales, who is the entire reason why I bought this set. I'm going to be honest. There he is. So awesome. Ah, so cool. All right. So now for the effects bits. He has his little ladder shooters. And it looks like I'm going to have to find the little stud pieces that fit into them so he can actually hold them properly. So that might take me a hot second. Here they are. They attach to clear pieces here. Didn't show it on camera because it was a bit fiddly, but yeah, there's Miles Morales. So cool. Next up we have Carnage, who comes with a very cool looking backpack type thing. Plugs into there, plugs into that, and of course Carnage's very cool head, which explains the use of the backpack because he needs his little tentacle bits so there they are very cool the only thing that's kind of annoying with these sorts of uh accessories on minifigures is look at how tall it makes his head it looks a little abnormal but i'm sure you know you just kind of Got to live with that a little bit, which is rather unfortunate, but I mean, I don't really know what other way Lego could do that. Like, I'm not clever enough to think of something better, so. <laughs> Hence, Carnage looks like this with his extra tall head, but that's okay. He's looking pretty cool right now. There's his little web slinging bits here. Except, I don't know, I guess See, I'm not really a Spider-Man fan enough to know what you would call whatever is Carnage's deal. Because, I don't know, is he... is that webs, really? I mean, I feel like it's more like, I don't know, his nasty tentacle stuff. <laughs> Comment down below! Correct me. Correct me, Spider-Man fans. I don't mind. Alright, so we're going to continue... His whole business right here. Oh boy. Oh, I'm doing this wrong. He needs studs. He needs studs on these. So, let's fix that. Come on, this is a lot of work for a minifigure. It's a little bit surprising in a way, because usually you just kind of put the minifigure together and that's that. With these Spider-Man ones, there's quite a few accessories, so that's how you get lots of work regarding a simple uh, minifigure job. Wait, that goes here. And this one goes down here. And this one has the weird side doohickey. Right? Why is it... Is it to the side or is it just drawn in a weird perspective-y way? Oh, okay. It's drawn like that. Alright. Gotcha. So that, I think, is all of Carnage. Took me about like three, two to three minutes just to assemble Carnage. Holy cow. What a complicated minifigure. He's knocking Miles over. But yeah. I mean, to a well-desired effect, he looks cool. So now we're coming up with sort of this uh, station here. This nuclear... I don't know what to call that. Nuclear energy-looking station. Very common in superhero fare, these sorts of sets. So, cool beans. Looks like... Nope, I'm not messing up. 
No, actually these bits go behind that. Just like that. This pops up here. We have a little piece that goes here. And wait, that's showing under there. That's all gravy. And one of these A-frames. Now this is more like it, you guys. Ladies and gents, we have the desired printed tile. Yes, very exciting stuff. No more decals. Good on you, Lego. I support. I support your choice to print and not decal. The more we have of those sorts of choices, the better. As far as I am concerned. Ooh, a gray stud. Gray stud. Why do I have trouble finding you? Nope, you're a black stud. Just kidding. Sometimes with these Lego manuals, you gotta look carefully. Or you're gonna get the wrong colors. I don't know. Comment if you think that's the thing for you guys, but that's always a thing for me. I always have to look twice. But also, it's kind of hard to do these build videos sometimes because I'm trying not to, like, waste you guys' time. Even though that's kind of an odd comment to make because you're really here to watch me build. But I like doing my builds efficiently so I don't, like, end up building these things for, like, hours and hours. And you're just watching these videos of me ramble incessantly, you know? That's why I try and do these efficiently but that's how i make mistakes too so i'm not sure what is better you know not sure at all there goes that piece i'm assuming that goes right in the middle that goes here and that comes in like that goes in like that all right, fun. Very cool. Now we have these guys coming in this way. And flip this around. We have this piece here. So starting to come together. These gray pieces flip out on the outside. Again, these are some of my favorite pieces for Lego, these little hinge bits. They're very, very handy for mocks and whatnot. Very smart stuff. That's why I like Lego, man. The build system, they are so smart about that. And they cover that on the Netflix documentary, The Toys That Made Us. If you guys are toy nuts like myself, definitely check that out. And they will be coming out with a new season pretty soon, so... Very exciting, but they cover Lego on there. And Lego is a company that has a lot, a lot, a lot of amazing history. It's pretty crazy how they started as like a wooden toy company. And uh, how far they came along. It's just a very interesting journey. So, I don't know if you guys are into documentaries, but I feel like that one's worth watching if you are a follower of my channel. Because that probably means that you like toys. And if you like toys, that's the documentary for you. Oh, more of these blasted decals. These are like my least favorite thing ever. If you're OCD like me, you just go crazy because you're like, oh, I didn't assemble it straight or whatever. And it can be very, very frustrating. these bits here attach down to here cool one more and the top so we need two of these guys we're gonna do the exact same thing for the other side for very beautiful finish and these puppies pop onto the sides and we're looking pretty good we are in the very final throws of this entire set, which is exciting. All right, that's cool. And there's these pieces here. 
Speaking of Netflix, they have been killing it lately. And uh, I'm very excited to see all the new stuff that they have in store for the next year. This is a good time for being a nerd. But specifically for being into Spider-Man as well. Because they had that animated movie. And Homecoming was really great in my opinion. Tom Holland makes a really excellent Peter Parker. Excellent Spider-Man. So, yeah. That's all gravy. That's all gravy. All right. And we are nearing the ends of this whole set. This is very cool. I really like these, like, orange light-looking things. They're just screaming hazard. Ugh. Yes! Translucence! You are so pretty. This is the best part. The translucence, man. The translucence! Ugh. It would have been too much to ask, huh? To, like, print onto these pieces. But they're so beautiful. I'm scared that I'm going to decal this wrong. But, oh! But it's so pretty. Look how pretty that is, man. That is screaming to be used in a mock for, like, I don't know, like an Iron Man setup and stuff. I'm sure they already have some... Oop! Excuse me. Knocking the camera all over the place. Anyway, uh, I'm sure that they have some really cool Iron Man sets already. Using some similar setups. I'm not familiar, as I don't build a lot of Marvel stuff for Lego. But... But, but, that is so cool. And if they don't, they should definitely do, like, a whole suit of armor, um, hall of suit, hall of suits of armor, whatever the hell you call it. That whole thing with Iron Man and have a bunch of, like, all these really cool, like, translucent pieces. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is a mock waiting to happen, my friends. And these pieces are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So... Very cool. Two of these guys. And what are these? Just, you can load them into here. And I'm assuming, is this like, you, you, I don't know what these do, actually. I think they're supposed to launch, to be honest. But, but, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> they load in like that. I'm a Dorcas. I'm a Dorcas ding dong. Did not see that. Okay. So two of these puppies. And what does this create? That goes on to here. And then we have another one. I mean, does that make a difference? I don't know. Do 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 Okay. Goes there. Go there. Cool. And now we can wrap it on up. This these are all extra pieces, so courtesy of Lego. Thank you, Lego, for all the extras. And then we have these, which are like these um handcuffs for like that Spider Man put on Carnage. With his using his fabulous web slinging powers, so that's cool. Does it matter which side goes where? Hmm, I don't know. So something like that. I'm pretty sure I'm doing it wrong, but whatever. That's pretty cool. I like this little thing. There's plenty of playability with this set. I think. Obviously, if you're buying this set, it is for the minifigures and probably for this spike build right here, because that's pretty neat. But this is a cool little extra feature. I do really love these translucent pieces. I am a sucker for shiny, pretty things. And that's what this whole entire thing is built out of. Carnage is cool. Um, he's a little fiddly, in my opinion. Like, as a minifigure, it's a little much for me. But, I mean, for kids, I can see it being a very appealing villain. But really, let's be real, bought this set for Miles, 
very excited to have Miles. Um, yeah. Yeah, he's just a cool minifigure and a cool character. So I hope you guys enjoyed my build. That will conclude the build for today. And I do have quite the backlog of both Lego and other types of model kits. So I'm very excited to continue doing this build series for this channel. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy living vicariously through me. These are the kind of videos I like to make. I don't know who actually watches them, but hey. If you guys enjoyed, please do leave a comment, a like, subscribe, do your whole thing. That'd be cool. And yeah, I will be continuing to make some more videos. So stay tuned to this channel for more content. 2019, y'all. It's going to be a good year.